the news that Nuno is taking over Tottenham Hotspur and they've finally decided who the manager is going to be. We have a look at what football manager thinks will happen. The first season there wasn't a lot of movement as he didn't have a lot of money. Obviously you got this player here who came in, who's a centre mid from Inter Milan. He's a good tackler, good CDM, really good team worker, good stamina and an experienced player. So he is a good player to bring in as a start. So we look at how he did in his first season and Nuno got Tottenham to fourth place. Really good. Something they don't do every season. And considering the shape they've been in recently, fourth place finish is really good. They just pipped Leicester to it and they were seven points above arch rivals Arsenal. So Spurs fans will be happy about that. They were a bit off the top, quite a bit. I mean, you're looking at 25 points, but this is the sort of thing that happens. And for his first season where he hasn't had many signings, he hasn't done too bad here. So we look at some of the losses, two against United, Liverpool, both games, City and one against Arsenal. So primarily just the big matches and then a few of the mid-table clubs. Looking at draws, you got a lot of the weaker teams on there. And then you got some good wins here against Chelsea, 3-2 against City, 3-2 against Leicester. So he hasn't done bad here. If we look at goals, he's got Harry Kane playing well. He had 17 goals in this season, the fourth highest in the league. Harry Kane had 159 minutes per goal, which is really good. So he has got Kane playing well and he has kept him at the club too. Average rating, you can see Harry Kane is on top, so he's got a Harry Kane playing really well here. The next play is 14th with Son, but you've got a lot of these really good players in the league who are below these. You've got Bernardo, Kevin De Bruyne, the Liverpool and City players who have much better teams, Bruno Fernandes, and you've still got Son who's ahead of the likes of Salah, Mount, Ziyech. Ruben Diaz. So again, got probably two of their best players playing really well. Player the matches, Harry Kane has 15. So again, showing how good Harry Kane has been this season under Nuno. Only ahead of Van Dijk and Prowse on nine. So way ahead of them too. We have a look at the senior squad overall. We've got CC in the Prem. We've gone through these. Most assists, we had Kane, Ali, Doherty and Regulon. In the Europa Cup, we had Kane and Deli Ali with both with six. In the FA Cup, we had Deli Ali with two, Vinicius with two in the Carabao Cup. We can have a look at the schedule here quick to look at how these cups went. So in the FA Cup, they beat Stoke 3-0, Scunthorpe 2-0, but unfortunately went out 3-2 to Brighton at home. Carabao Cup, they got past Rotherham with a 2-2 draw and win on penalties but they lost 2-0 to the holders and the lovers of the Carabao Cup Manchester City. We look at the Europa League, got through the qualifiers fine. Have a look at the group, 6 games, 15 points, 5 wins, loads of 2-0s, 3-0s, 4-0s, very convincing, only 1-2-1 one, one loss away to Dynamo. Kiev but we can forgive them. He lost 2-1 away to Hoffenheim but fortunately won 2-0 at home to go through. Ajax a nice 3-0 win away with Kane scoring the new player 2 and Son but lost 2-1 away but that was not enough to get them eliminated. They then faced Villarreal who they beat 3-1 and 1-0 so did well there again. And then had Leipzig in the semis, Son with a nice 1-0 and a 1-1 draw, taking them into the final, which they won 2-1, Son and Endombele both scoring there, and that means that Nuno won Tottenham their first trophy in a very long time. That's something to put in the cabinet, and people cannot make fun of that now. Brought them to European glory. So he has done fantastically well in his first season. Considering Nuno did so well, I thought we'd have a look at the second season and see how he got on there. He brought in some really good players here. James Forrest from Celtic. A nice right winger there. We've got Memphis Depay for free from Leon. Fantastic signing. Can play up front. 
on the wing, pacey, good dribbling, very technical, fantastic player to bring in. Brought in Dokkanam, who is a centre-back, good defender of 15 mark and 15 tackling, just have a bit of experience at the back. Also got Ruben Semedo, who I believe is the brother of the Wolves player Semedo. Really good tackling, 16, that's incredible. So he's a fantastic centre-back as well, really bolstering the defence here. We also have Farrago, who is also a right-back. Quite an all-rounder. So a lot of just defensive options with a few wingers mixed in there. And you have Ben Davis, Aurea going away on loan and Lamella. So obviously he doesn't want them. Alderweireld is getting old. So interesting signings. So we go to the league and we've got Tottenham with second with 85 points. So he's done really fantastic there with them. He's got them right up there. Harry Kane, 16 goals. So he's performing fantastically again. Average ratings, Kane is top again, and assists. And assists, the only player to make it is Endombele with seven. And Tottenham, you got the pie with eight, and Endombele with seven. So, performing really well and getting them ever closer to where they need to be. So, you can see in the Premier League, went through these stats already. The pie got four in the Champions League, came for it, came for one again, and getting some assists. Europa Super Cup, some nice play here too. So we can go to the matches. First we had a Super Cup with City and won on penalties. Fantastic there. The new signing, Forrest, getting a goal as well. So yeah, he got them beating Manchester City, arguably the best club in the country. So he's done fantastically well there. We look at the Champions League. Top the group with four wins against PSG and Copenhagen, one draw against Atletico and one loss. They then unfortunately got Barcelona, which they lost 3-2. Harry Kane and Ali getting two goals there, but could not redeem themselves and it finished 1-1. Not too bad, it is obviously a very tough competition to win. FA Cup, third round, beat Sheffield 4-1, nice there. Beat Chelsea 3-1. So, really good result. Beat Arsenal, extra time, their rivals, 2-1, with a late end on belly goal just before penalties. Really good there. And then they beat Man City, 3-2, scoring a goal in extra time again. So, really playing well here. Semi-final beat Liverpool, so they beat Arsenal, City and Liverpool. But lost 2 1 to Manchester United with Andreas Pereira scoring two. That's not realistic. But unfortunately, they couldn't get it. But at least they got to the final. Also, looks like they got to the Carabao Cup final two after beating Brighton, Burnley, and also losing to United in the final again. So they obviously just had his number. Not too much you can do about that. Obviously disappointing, but two finals. Already won the Europa League, won the Super Cup. Although we didn't win everything he could have, Spurs are now competitive. They're getting into finals and they're performing really well under Nuno. He's done a really, really fantastic job. So I think overall we can see that over two seasons simulated here, Nuno did really well. He got some top players in. He got Spurs performing. He did win the trophy and he got them mentally ready to compete he got them into two more finals and won the super cup after that so he has done a fantastic job hopefully he does this well in real life but we will see thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon